Welcome to your November 2020 love reading. We're going to be doing my favorite spread, which is what is your person thinking and feeling about you? What are they going to do about it? And what will be the outcome of that? And vice versa, what are you thinking about your person of interest or significant other? What are you going to be doing about it? And what will be the outcome of all of your thoughts and actions as a whole? Now, I do want to note that we won't be doing extended readings this month, but I will be doing a bonus where I pull three cards from the lover's oracle and it's only 99 cents so i'll tell you how to find that at the very end and also at the end i'll be pulling a card um, for your finances out of the law of attraction finance deck so let's go ahead and get started hey there gemini let's see what's going on with your person of interest or significant other at this time what are they thinking and feeling about you what is Gemini's person of interest or significant other thinking and feeling about Gemini at this time? We got the six pentacles. So they do feel very solid and steady with you. They feel like things are balanced and reciprocal. Like there's an equal amount of give and take between the two of you. And they may feel like you're a very generous partner, whether that be just physically, you know, pentacles or, you know, in giving, loving, nurturing kindness. So um, if you're waiting for someone to come in, Gemini, you've been very single for a while, you're showing this kind of reciprocity in your relationships, which your person, um, you know, once they come across you is going to recognize and appreciate about you. And what is Gemini's person of interest going to do in regards to what they're thinking and feeling page of pentacles so because of this nice reciprocity that you two have going it makes them want to give you more and that's what they're going to be doing here they you know the six the page of pentacles is high more highly evolved than the six of pentacles and so they want to give even more here now they don't maybe have a lot to give you and again this doesn't have to just be monetarily it can also be you know cooking dinner it can have to do with food mostly tangible things but it also is just the amount of give and take again as i said before so notice in this page of pentacles um illustration in this deck that we have the tower back here and he has a map and he's trying to get to the tower so your person definitely you know they have a little ways to go before they can you know give you the whole tower um you know like say mansion the luxuries that they would like to in life but that's the you know plan that they have here the map of where they're going and they're willing to put in the work and go on the journey you know with whatever they do have to get there so if this is your person coming in for you and you're a single Gemini you, they definitely are trying to find you in this tower or trying to build this tower for you to enjoy with them so they're looking for you and they've got the map and they're on their way and they're putting in the effort to get out there and locate you with the map, literally, the, their GPS system here. And what is going to be the outcome of how Gemini's person is thinking and feeling? Oh, we, we have two cards here. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, which wouldn't be super uncommon for Gemini. Um, and, you know, or you could be operating as the Queen of Pentacles to them. They feel like you are, you know, their ultimate passion their ultimate love and they might feel like you're a little bit of a dragon but you know this can be male or female so if you're dealing with if you're dealing with a um again leo aries or sagittarius they definitely have their ish together and you know this effort that they're putting in they have it all going for them and with the fool they really want to begin this journey with you and get to this tower so if you've been in a relationship for a while they still have a lot of plans for you too and they've got the energy to put into it and they're willing to start over or willing to do whatever it takes even if it means going back to the beginning and now that doesn't necessarily mean in your relationship status but it could mean you know as far as starting over in their own life maybe they have to um you know make changes in their own life to be able to go on this journey with you gemini so what is gemini thinking and feeling about their person of interest or significant other at this time what is gemini thinking and feeling about their person of interest or significant other at this time the emperor in reverse so if you're dealing with an aries you definitely don't feel like they have it all together here you know um they think that it's very reciprocal but you don't necessarily feel that way you are thinking can this person you know 
does this person have the ability um, and the authority to make something happen here? Or maybe possibly some of you Geminis are thinking, or am I gonna have to do all the hard work? But I do wanna tell you that it does seem like they're going to come through here for you. You know, they just need to, a little more time to gather their resources, but they're willing to give as much as they've got here, which is maybe not a whole lot for some of them. So to you, you maybe wonder, will they ever have it together? And what is going to be the outcome? Gemini, I'm hoping that you can't hear the noise outside. I live in a very noisy area, so um, I'm actually working on a sound booth, a soundproof sound booth. I don't know if I'll be doing these tarot readings in it, but anyway, so what is going to be the outcome, or no, what is Gemini going to do in regards to how they're thinking and feeling about their person? And don't worry, we are going to be clarifying these. The chariot and the world. So you are gonna continue to move forward and try to make progress with your person, and luckily so, because I definitely think they're gonna be proving here to you that they have a lot, not, not a lot to offer, but that they're willing to give everything that they've got. Um, and the world is, you know, you're kind of waiting to see how things pan out, I feel like, for a lot of you. You know, if you're in a relationship or, or whatever, you just know that, um, and I, I often say this in regards to relationships, you know that this is a cycle, that there's been times where you didn't know if they'd be able to pull through before, but, you know, they always seem to. And what is going to be the outcome of how Gemini is, you know, and their person are thinking and behaving for the rest of November? The hangman. So some of you are undecided about the fate of this relationship, but I want to tell you that your person is really um, willing to go all in, to do whatever it takes, to start over. They have a lot of passion here towards you. So, you know, you're undecided. So let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers about, you know, the emperor in reverse and, and this fool and the hangman. And I want to give you a heads up that this deck is a little bit graphic. So I have marked this video 18 and over, but I just let you know in case you're uncomfortable with these depictions. You could skip forward to the financial reading and maybe to the bonus of the Lover's Oracle if that's the case. So go ahead and tell me about the Emperor in Reverse here. Why is Gemini feeling like their person of interest or significant other is the Emperor in Reverse? The Tower in Reverse. So I, I'm getting for a lot of you that you haven't seen many changes in a while. You know, you they feel like it's reciprocal. You maybe don't feel that way, and you just feel like you want some a big change, something sudden to happen to show you, you know, some evidence. And until you see that, you can't really make a decision, and you don't feel like you've seen that here. So one more, the chariot forward movement, and that's the same card as this. It's interesting. And in one of the other readings I did, I also had two show up in these decks next to each other in a similar manner. So. Um, you still want to move forward with them. I just feel like you're having some doubts at this time. And I, I think they're going to give you some evidence, but it's not going to be this big drastic tower change in them. It's just going to be that they're giving it all that they've got. So if you want to be with them, you know, try to appreciate that because they, they're throwing a lot of passion at it too as well. And like I said, even if they have to like rearrange their own life to make it happen and, and kind of start over in their own life as the fool, they want to do that for you and make that sacrifice. So I've got two cards here that just popped out for the hangman. And this is a decision. So I'm going to say these two cards are a uh, decision going either way. One, we have the five of swords. You know, the five of swords is a little bit about control, you know, and um, slightly a uh, manipulation. So you feel like either you need to get control of the situation or somehow, you know, um, you know, like motivate your person by, you know, words, how you speak, maybe withholding words at times. And then there's this other side of you that's like with the Knight of Pentacles here, it's in reverse, see, but in upright, it's a relationship. Again, this in this deck, it shows pentacles as fruit, as food, as a tangible. So, you know, with them being the page of pentacles here, the Knight would be the next step. And in reverse, you 
you kind of feel like they can't even give much more than they have been but also this is a boyfriend girlfriend steady slow moving relationship so in reverse it's kind of like you're saying no to that because you either feel like your two choices are one you need to continue to manipulate and be in control and you're the one who has you know the upper hand and has to put in all the effort here or that you know you need to walk away from this relationship because you don't feel like it's going to turn into this knight of pentacles I want to go ahead and pull one more clarifier on this decision that Gemini is going to be making about their person. The two of pentacles. Yeah, again, it's like two, right? Choice. You're trying to balance like, okay, should I even take them seriously? And honestly, my advice here to you, Gemini, it's almost like you're thinking too much if you want to be with this person then be with them and be all in because once you commit everything's going to unfold it's going to actually open doors for your person to be able to be all that they can be sometimes when we're on the fence about things we're holding back now if you don't want to be with this person or you're really uncertain and you you know you don't feel like you have the time to waste and i would say yeah go ahead and just and go away because you're going or get rid of them because you're going to end up you know causing more harm than good if you just continue to juggle them and be uncertain yeah eight of swords in reverse um i want to pull one card about this fool's journey that gemini's person seems to be jumping into here death in reverse so they they're they don't want things to be slow they want things to be fast and they want like i said even if it means like a whole new beginning they want things to move quickly which you know is also very queen of wands but i mean gemini you're a very quick minded sign so it shouldn't be an issue queen of cups they have a lot of love for you you know they really want to jump in here and be with you a lot of passion a lot of love so i'm going to go ahead and pull a card from the financial deck i hope this brought some of you some clarity and some illumination into your circumstances if you'd like to know more you can go ahead and order a personal reading with me by clicking the link below if you're on igtv you can click the link in the bio you'll go to my product catalog at the top are my personal readings a great one for you is the q a so you order the q a and then you go into messenger and write madeline and say hey here's my question and i'll get back to you with a video response about a 10 minute uh, tarot reading just for you and you know you can make a note whether you want me to elaborate on this or just you know start from scratch it's best if you include your person and yours birth dates and then also um you can go to the links and click in the catalog and scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see the uh november bonus gemini love reading and i'm going to do a three card spread with the lovers oracle they're 99 cents this month since i'm not going to be doing the extendeds but for the for the rest of you i'll go ahead and pull a card from the law of attraction deck that primarily has to do with finances before we go shortages of time or money are perceptual if you are feeling a shortage of time or money, your best effort would be to focus upon better feeling thoughts and do more things that make you feel good. Your time is a perceptual thing, and even though the clock is ticking, the same for everyone, your alignment affects your perception as well as the results that you allow. So before I read the bottom, you know, if you have, you know, X amount of time and you feel like you're not getting anything done, but you know, maybe a lot of you are laid off right now and you're like, man, I could be getting so much done, um, and you're beating yourself up about that, or in, you know, the years just keep going by um but you don't have that structure when you're working or something like that for example you know it's all about perception getting that right mentality you know visualizing it and then getting the impulse into action instead of you know thinking i know with gemini you probably you know want to think through all the action first and that could actually make you kind of disperse your energy in too many different places so pull back really focus on you know as few of things at a time as you can i know that's what's beautiful about you you're creative and you can focus on many things at once but the more you can narrow it down and really go okay i want to get this done i want to get this done i want to get this done and then put all your focus on that you're going to align with it and you're going to get a lot done really fast rather than kind of maybe wasting months or years all over the place so if you can't find that structure in life right now because of you know your circumstances changing and the chaos just maybe narrowing it down and clearing out um some of the clutter in your mind even writing down your goals could really help you right now gemini and you could get a lot accomplished in a short amount of time 
things that you thought would take years or that have taken you years already. As you observe the enormous differences in the effort that people apply and the results they achieve, you have to conclude that there is more to the equation of achieving than action alone. Again, instead of running at all these things and then never really getting very far, you know, really narrow it down and then, um, then you're really going to see the fruit of your efforts. So I hope this helped bring you some clarity for the rest of November. Gemini's, I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, and light.